how to update the firmware of a BLE cable queue. First, unpack the BLE cable queue and open up the app on our phone. This phone is an Android phone, but the process should work identically on an iPhone. Now, let's plug in power to the BLE cable queue. So it will actually show up on the device here it is a form of a BLE cable queue device. Now, if we open up the cable queue, we can see that the app in the background checks if there are firmware updates available and immediately tells us. So if we click here to update, it will tell us that the first thing we're going to do is to enable the update mode on our BLE cable queue by pressing the right button five times. So one, two, three, four, five. This enables the software update mode on the BLE cable queue so we can press done before the app is downloading the newest firmware in the background to the phone. So the download is complete, we can press done here. And then we have to make sure that Wi-Fi is enabled on our mobile phone and cellular data is disabled. So we are going to go to the settings and take a look, Wi-Fi is enabled and cellular is disabled. Then we can say done. And now we are going to connect to the Wi-Fi opened up by the BLE cable queue. So the name or SSID is called BLE cable queue update and the password is this. The password I'm going to copy and we are going to connect to this Wi-Fi by going into the Wi-Fi settings, waiting until it shows up as an available network and then paste in the password and take a look, it's still, it's still the same. Now we're going to connect it and Android in the background will check if there is internet access available. So it tells us that we are connected but there is no internet access, which means that it will automatically disconnect. So now we have to tap for options and tell them that yes, we want to stay connected to this network. Now we can go back to our app and say yes, we've connected to this Wi-Fi and we are now uploading the firmware to the BDE cable queue and we can see this little red LED blinking while we're uploading the firmware. Now, after the upload is complete, we're going to see this version code is going to change. So the upload is now complete and the BDE cable queue is going to reset on its own if we give it a second or two. Now, we can see that the firmware on the BLE cable queue change to version uh, 4.2.01.05 and if we go back to the same device the firmware is now indicated as being up to date. If you have any questions just put them in the comments below and thanks for watching.